you know there is something wrong with this setting. Let's go ahead and fix that. Ta-da! Yes! DokuCraft and DaddyCraft have been fully upgraded to 1.8. Unfortunately, not enough of it has actually been confirmed, or at least not the Connected Textures mod has been uh, made. But either way, I am actually happy for the fact that it is officialized for DokuCraft and DataCraft. So, what have I been doing of late? Well, simple. I have been planting and, and harvesting for the next project. And that next project is going to be dealing with, you guessed it, the next farm. Unfortunately, the next farm I'm going to be doing requires one other ingredient, or actually, in this case, several ingredients. The silver ingredients I'm going to need is actually quite an interesting uh, collaboration. I have actually have found several things during my mining. First which I have acquired a... Oh, what are you doing, Blondie? I have acquired several uh, spawner locations. Um, I found one ginormous uh, you know spawner I mean huge uh, mine shaft several uh, spider spawners which is actually gonna be fun I'm gonna need a lot more arrows I need to need to repair it and upgrade it All right sorry I was just thinking out loud but yes Oh, 1.8 is so fun. I mean, look at all this. Look at how many diamonds. I had actually a bit more. But look how many enchanted pickaxes I have. And I have a whole queue of them uh, lined up ready to go. So much lapis. And, of course, I have my mine shaft. Very similar to what I actually was planning to do in my previous uh, Blue Set and Datacraft episodes. Oh, I forgot to mention. This is a uh, Blue Set Adventure and Minecraft episode four. Just so you guys know, you know those who don't want to read. There you go. Now we are going to need some of the more important materials. One of them is soul sand. I'm going to need a ton of soul sand. Ew. And we're going to need nether wart. Now, let's see here. Cool. Now, Admist has been updated to, you know, a... I'm trying to find... Yeah, Admist has been updated to, um, I'm thinking... Uh, well, Atmos has been updated to actually handle uh, Minecraft 1.8. So, that's actually pretty good. And I came down this way, didn't I? Yes, I did. I need to find the exit because... Although I do need a lot, and I do mean a lot of soul sand, I actually do need... Okay, I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to need a lot more in terms of... Let's see here. Of nether wart. So, just getting started with... A, oh, oh, here's the exit. Sweetness. Alright, get the bow out. And be ready for hunting... Down. Oh, some glowstone. I'm not going to be harvesting glowstone around here, but I will be interested in finding myself some uh, another fortress. I need another fortress because they are the only place that actually has uh, is that it? Yes, it is. Wow, that's really close. If I can see that, oh, 
Yeah, that is pretty close. Oh boy. Is that coming after me? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That blaze is coming after me. I shoot pretty well. I wish this thing was has infinity on it. Because I don't feel like dying. And running out of arrows. Jeez. Oh. Achievement gained. Alright, so I found myself a nether fortress. Which I got made it's actually not bad of a start. Okay, oops. Alright, we got to be careful around here. So, right, in the nether, trying to find certain things. I got blaze rod, so I can probably start on... What was that? Is that... Oh, that's a wither! There we go. Can I... Ow. Did I get a skull from this? <sighs> no. Bones. Dang it. Oh, well. I only do so much. Hmm. All right. Alright, so I gotta find a uh, nether wart. At least a good handful of nether wart. Now then, I gotta find where the best optimal location is, and I probably can f uh, do a bit of a uh, calculations on how to do a wither farm. Or at least a massive mob farm specifically for the nether. Kind of interesting. Let's see, uh, I found several spawners, uh, like I said. I found a, uh, several, and I do mean several, at ungodly number of, uh, spider spawners in my mining. And Lord behold, I have found a suitable. I'm so grateful that Nether Brick doesn't get destroyed by ghast uh, fireballs. Do need quite a few of these, anyways. Nether rack. Why are they called nether rack? Why can't they just be called nether rock? I know they're a bit meaty and all in in any version, but it just makes sense. Oh, here's nether wart. Okay. Sorry. Even on Moody, I can't really see that well. But Netherward, here it is. Alrighty, in fact, there's quite a lot of Netherward here. Alright, explore a little bit. If I find a Blaze Spawner, that will be awesome. Yes, I hate fighting monsters, but quite frankly, they give the best type of experience out there when I experience, but, uh, drop her. And also, too, I have a looting three sword. Why didn't I kill the wither with it? No, seriously, I do. 
See? Well, oh well. I'll find some sort of schematic to actually work with or make my own. Which actually doesn't sound too bad when I think of it. Holy! Running out of ammo. Okay. Who? Oh, that was a magma cube. Just scared me. Ha 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 ha! What the? Yeah, magma cube. Okay. Yeah, I got scared from a uh, magma cube. Oh, that's horrible. Silly blue set. Get scared of uh, from real things, like withers and spiders. Hmm. More nether ward. Well, that solves... Ooh, a chest. Okay, good. Ooh, El Hey, obsidian, gold, some ward, and a chest. And, of course, horse armor. I didn't mention horse armor, but yeah. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I'm running low on torches. I need to go get some more uh, wood and torches and coal. Okay, pigman. <laughs> Sorry, kind of a bit skittish here. I haven't died yet, so I don't want to have my first... Oh. You're a skelly. Normal ske... Uh-oh. Can't do that. Ooh, I gotta be careful around there. Oh well. Tell you what, let me go ahead and collect the nether wards. And the uh, soul sand as well. You can tell I'm used to pressing uh, one particular button. Hmm. I would believe that this is not enough soul sand. And of course I'm right. Anything in Minecraft dealing with items is never going to be enough. Okay, this a bit loops around. Okay. Alrighty, tell you what. Let me go ahead and explore the rest of this area, and I will be right back. Hopefully, I'll have a fantastic amount of equip. Oh. Oh, there goes that notion. Well, then. That's sad. Anticlimactic. I was going to say, let me explore around while I still have a minute enough torches as it is, but I don't have enough torches. Uh, ah, blue said you derp. Oh well. i tell you what, I do have a healthy supply of nether wart right now. Let's go ahead and... Okay, that's already taken care of over there. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. I hate going in another. Although I'm a bit of a champ of it on the blue data datacraft. Starting out, oh no, it's a scary thing. So, right. Aha! Wither! Wither, you must die. You must die. Come on. No! Dang it. I only got coal. 
No skulls. It has a play player drop, but I don't know. Alright, it's still a healthy supply. I got a good amount. Huh. No, just dead end. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, like I said, I'm going to be hunting around in the area for other materials. Lots more soul sand. Definitely a lot more. Probably thinking three stacks of soul sand. And yeah, definitely three st uh, stacks of soul sand. Oh, you're so cute. Yes, I know. Anyway, it's three stacks of soul sand, and I will be right back. Well, I finally found it. It took a long while for me to actually go about and finding it, but oh yeah, I did. I found a whole field of soul sand down this tunnel. And not only that, I found a great deal of, you know, glowstone dust. So I'm actually happy. You know, I got glowstone, I got... Soul Sand, and <laughs> this has actually been a very productive um, uh, run through. And let's see here, where did I come from? Oh, dang it. Right. It's usually hard to find your way around when you find out that uh, you've been mining everywhere and don't remember where you went through. Uh, no, that's a fortress side, okay. Oh, I found out during my explorations that this nether fortress is actually huge. I didn't know how huge these things could get. But, yeah, they're huge. Uh, let's see here. Let me go ahead and head back to the uh, main world. And hopefully, oh well. More glowstone. I is lost, but it, yet I found more glowstone. Okay, it was not the way I came from. That's not the way. But, uh, somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. Anyways, uh... Was it this way? Yes, it was. Alrighty. Sweet. Hmm. I could use a bit more quartz. Yay, Fortune 3. Gives me all the... Although, not necessary, but very nice supply of quartz. Because that's also needed for another uh, build. Well, same build, but... It is needed for what I have in mind. Uh, let's see here. Definitely not through there. So yeah, let me go ahead back to the overworld and I will be right back. back. Alrighty, back on the surface here. I want to actually go about and already start with the process of actually harvesting the nether wart. I know I need to make a better connector there than it already is, but hey. And, uh, let's see here. Where did I put my nether ward at? Oh, it's in one of these chests. Here it is. Alright, start to get the uh, process going by actually putting in a nice... Oh, I would say... You know, a little area, probably over here. Like so. Yep. Some nice cells here and there. Of course, I need to collect every single last um, material possible. You 
know, something very nice and simple. Oh, my design is going to be a, in a sense, a veggie tower. Yeah, I know how original, but uh, let me explain here. You know, it's a vegetable tower. What more can you want? Well, actually, there is a bit more complication to it than unnecessarily said. Is there any extra torches I can take down? No? Okay. Just wanted to check, actually. Yeah. Basically, it is going to be a vegetable tower. And I am going to be using um, Daedalus's uh, design, you know, Daedalus uh, A22's design for a vegetable tower. But instead of just the trio tower, I was thinking of actually having a one more tower in the mix. And of course, that's the reason why I was hunting down for soul sand. Is because that's where the actual materials will be for. Yeah, right now it'll be fine. And it is going to be for the Nether War Tower. And I'm actually going to be doing this by color coded themes. I know, right? Sounds about interesting, Blue Set. But can you actually prove it? Can you actually pull it off? Why, yes, I can. But, unfortunately, that trip had left me a bit unprepared because I need to get a few more materials. And that does require me to actually travel a long ways to get them. I know this episode is actually pretty short. At least it feels short. But, I think, probably could actually put out a groundworks... See that patch over there? That's going to be where Veggie Tower is going to be at. Or the four uh, towers are going to be at. And each one is going to be color coded. One red, one blue. Uh, not blue. Uh, one red, one white. Or at least one yellow in this case. Um, one is going to be brown. And the other is going to be orange. Now, now, each color is going to represent... Oh, yes, I was looking for you. Uh, each color is going to represent a uh, particular material being used. Uh, what material? Well, simple. Each one represents a vegetable. Netherwort, carrot, potato, and wheat. Wheat is, you know pretty much a yellow color or at least a golden color so I'm thinking something of yellows so I'm thinking probably finding a dandelion uh, forest or at least dandelion not dandelion sunflower there we go looking for sunflowers actually this here would be perfect right in the middle perfect this area is so flat I can definitely use it and why not get some dandelions as well You know, get some dandelions, get everything. I mean, I'm probably am going to hit something, but everything is going to be a massive uh, storage area for the. Actually, let me go ahead and grab those flowers over here. These red tulips. But yes, everything's going to be a massive silo for everything. I'm thinking a 10 by 10 for each one. Each one has their own uh, filter. Wheat will have its own filter. Uh, the wheat seeds. Yeah, wheat seeds. So let's see here. Potatoes. Yeah, potatoes, carrots, because I want to make sure that carrots has its own little filter, and another wart. 
and I will have a disintegrator specifically for the um, I guess there's more rose bushes. Uh, this integrator is specifically for uh, poisonous potatoes because as far as I know, they still don't have a significant purpose other than emergency food, but you can't cook the poisonous potatoes. Oh, and these little glitches here, this is actually fancy textures on clouds for uh, fancy textures for the texture pack. As weird as it sounds, this is actually very true. If you actually were to do the same for Datacraft texture pack, um, and if you happen to look at my adventures in Datacraft for the texture pack, you actually will see that on Fancy, the textures actually were causing this issue as well. Okay, I think I have enough yellows. And thanks to a specific little glitch, which I actually love dearly, you can actually go about and make double copies of the main flower. I did not realize there was a bunch of red tulips here. Okay, that'd be enough. Um, yeah, if you were to actually just plant a too high plant and use bone meals on them, which if I kept any of the bones that I had throughout my killing of monsters, which I may not have. Oh, dang it. Well, it's a good thing I found a, an XP farm so I can actually go and do that. So, yeah. <laughs> this is getting stupid. Ah, don't need you there. And I don't have any torches. Right, I keep forgetting I don't have torches on me. Uh, let's see here. Anyways, let's take a look at the, um, another word here. Oh, hey, they're looking pretty good. Probably after a few more harvests, I can probably start making the, uh, appropriate towers. But, unfortunately, I'm going to have to end it here. As much as I would love to continue this, I got to end it. It has to end sometime. But well, thank you so much for watching this episode, episode 4 of Blue Sit In. Or, I was about to go through with my old intro. Haha. <laughs> thank you for watching uh, Blue Set's Adventure in Minecraft. Join me for episode 5, where I will truly start on the base foundation of the farm. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.